It really bothered me, this idea that people would think Native people aren't as contemporary as they are, and many times they are sometimes even more. I'm working on making him say some stuff in Cherokee. <laughs> so I'm Joseph Erb. I'm a citizen of Cherokee Nation. I'm an assistant professor right now at the University of Missouri, and I spend my summers here uh, working on uh, language and cultural projects. Um, I want to make sure that we uh, document and tell as many stories as we can in the language. And um, Cherokee is on the iPhone, it's on uh, Windows computers, um, it's on Apple. So if you go into your preferences and your settings, you can actually turn it on. And I've worked with a lot of really wonderful other Cherokees and people in these tech companies to, to do that. Year after year, I worked across Cherokee Nation in language programs with fantastic speakers. And when it came out, um, it hit newspapers everywhere, which was an important like shout out to all the other tech companies that Cherokee Nation is an important nation to be listened to. And we ended up moving into working with Google and Microsoft and Facebook after that. So our languages have this kind of support. So I make computer animations. So I'll make 3D animations and I also make 2D animations. And um, also working with community people to help decide what stories to tell and when. The first one that I made, I was working with the Cultural Resource Center when I was in graduate school. And I made this animation about the, the creation story where the water beetle brings up mud from the bottom and the grandfather beaver talks the, the great buzzard into drying the land. I made an animation about Standing Rock water issues and I wanted to make something to get awareness out over this issue because here at Cherokee Nation we also have water issues and water right issues that aren't being protected. I'm active in the art community here and so I enter art shows and I have my work at the Spider Gallery in Tahlequah and I love to make stuff on copper. And I like to make the syllabary in copper because I always think that a thousand years from now, our language will survive in this. So often on this stuff, I have very traditional iconography and designs, but I put how we are today in the sense of items that we would have. You know, some of the old stuff would have people canoeing or hunting or doing something like this. I have stuff like they're talking on cell phones or texting or doing web chat. It's more truthful of what we're doing today, more truthful in how we are. For the last 17 years, I've worked with youth programs, educational programs through uh, Camp Cherokee to teaching animations in the community and video. And I've worked on the Remember the Removal program. Over the years, as I got more involved in stories and storytelling and um, working with the language. With all of that comes history. When we would do stuff like for the Remember the Move of Bike Ride and we'd have students come in and interview, most of them knew very little of the details of how we ended up here. We all knew a general summary of we were on the East, we got removed here unjustly, but the details were left out. And one of the things that I've been pushing for is that we should all know this. And not only Cherokees, but everybody should know our history. I did the first computer and native animation with the beginning they told, and I thought, you know, I was something new. And then, I, you know, we started working with Apple. You know, I thought, oh my God, we are cutting edge. But we're just one link in the chain of being Cherokee. Cherokees have had printing presses, the first native printing press. We were the first telephone west of the Mississippi. Uh, all the different developments of the typewriters were developed in the Cherokee language as well. And so we were always adapting quickly to any technologies that came out, even to this time. Cherokee Nation isn't on the map, technically, when you go to your smartphone. But we're working on that. And that's the next stage, is to make sure that these tech companies, who we are very grateful that have had us in, also have maps on them. And we are a sovereign, dependent nation above states. And we should be seen as that.
And so for the last few years, with the help of Cherokee Nation lawyers and Google, we've been forming this relation to put indigenous nations on the map, which I'm very excited about because it's so the whole world knows tribal nations still exist. They're still nations and um, this community is still Cherokee. You know, I do a lot of diverse things from my artwork to the animation to filmmaking and then to the language activism that I, that I work on. But I, I really think it's like one thing that I do. I'm really trying to push forward our communities so that we continue to be pertinent and survive and we take care of each other.